what's happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah today we got another huge update i know you guys could probably already tell but it is going down just by that title alone definitely going to see this one as we're witnessing another explosion on the set abc's the view in this newest update is we've got tim walls with a guest appearance on the show and i'm just going to say things went left very quickly guys i'm excited to get into it so when i'm straight into it just make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button before we even get into it you guys hit that like button also with that subscribe button for your boy without further ado let's get into it y'all check this out so uh, governor for a long time you had an, an um an a rating from the nra but now you have an F rating. Congratulations. I do, thank you. <laughs> I sleep just fine. Yeah, I was I a teacher, too. Fine. This is the only time an F is a proud thing. Yeah. Um, but both you and Vice President Harris have leaned into your gun ownership. Uh, she's got a Glock, and she says that she's no, not she afraid doesn't. to use it on intruders, okay? So you're out hunting pheasants. Yep. Um, is that enough to convince people there's a middle ground on this issue? Because right now, right now, white right wingers are coming after you for how you handle uh, your shotgun. Well, I can shoot better than all of them. I, can't <laughs> I, got I want to challenge me to a shooting competition. Tim Walls, I bet you can. Why does he look like that one guy that's always hunting? Uh, what's his name? The rabbit. What's his name? Oh my goodness. It's going to bother me now. It'll come to me by the end. Bugs Bunny is getting hunted, but I can't remember the guy's name. Hop in the comment section. Let me know. He looks exactly like that guy. I'm hunting rabbits. <laughs> well, I can shoot better than all of them. I, can't. I, got the, I got the trophies to prove it. Yeah. Look, that's what they do. And, and, and I grew up I'm a veteran. I'm I am a hunter. I grew up in a small town of 400 people, and, and this was a simpler time and different time. We took our shotguns in our cars, and after football practice, we went out and hunt together. I've been doing this my whole life. Um, but the idea that you can protect the Second Amendment, which Vice President and I obviously do, but our first responsibility is to our kids and their safety, so they're not shot dead in schools. That's the uh, that's a big issue. Well, so basically saying that he supports Kamala Harris in this mandatory, you know, uh, firearm buyback program that she's so heavily for. She's going to hide it, but I'm telling you right now, that's what she's looking for. Their safety, so they're not shot dead in schools. That's the. Uh, that's a big issue. Well, these these are folks that cosplay with the guns. There there is no reason we need assault weapons on our streets or in our schools. There's no reason you shouldn't have. Look, we are both gun owners. First time maybe on the Democratic ticket in modern times. The Republican nominee can't pass a background check to get a gun. <laughs> so he's like, so Here we go. They always have to bring up Donald Trump saying that Donald Trump can't pass a back background check to get a firearm. I mean, just think about it right now. If Donald Trump would have never came out and announced that, hey, I'm going to run for presidency, uh, start my campaign for, you know, 2024, he would have never faced any of the political witch hunts that we've been seeing him go through. I mean, come on, you guys. There's a reason why this guy's background is all jacked up Republican right now. nominee can't pass a background check to get a gun. <laughs> so he's like, so... So we understand the Second Amendment and, and lawful gun owners, folks who have been doing this for 50 years like I have, we understand that there's not a single thing that we're proposing that takes away your right to be able to own that firearm, to be able to have it in your possession. But it does go a long ways to making sure that folks who shouldn't have it don't have it. And look, if you're going to die by a firearm, the chance in a lot of places is it's going to be in rural America through suicide of your own guns and what we know is is extreme risk protection orders red flag laws mm -hmm. help your family protect you give you your constitutional rights and you get your gun back after you you get through whatever crisis you're going through yeah. so i don't well, understand why everybody's so freaked out people are very happy to tell me what i can do with my body yeah <laughs> so when i say listen i think you need to regulate how how we own these guns yeah. and oh my god <laughs> You're taking it away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, well, I want to get to the economy, which remains a top issue for voters. And um, I could, if I could, oh, yeah. before I do this, and for all of us of coming to that epiphany, just to be clear, our world has changed. And it was a meeting with those Sandy Hook parents in my office, and they met with the NRA rated folks and said, you need to you need to listen to where we're at. And I just want to mm -hmm. note that, that that's the evolution from A to F of a changing world. And 
yeah. dead children in a classroom. That, yeah. that should probably change how you view this, and that's what you're saying. Think, so. Yeah. Yeah. so the economy remains a top issue to yeah. voters, um, but our own ABC poll finds that 59% of Americans feel like the economy is not getting better despite oh. inflation going down mm -hmm. and a number of good macroeconomic trends. The same poll finds that voters trust Donald Trump to handle the economy more. What do you say about the that perception the poll, the opponent, right? that the, the economy poll. is doing poorly? Listen, to, she can't even get the question out because Whoopi's got her emotions into it. That was the poll that said that, or did you just say that she is so offended voters do not trust tim waltz the goofball and, and kamala harris to you know run our economy or fix the current situation that we're in economy more what do you say about the that perception the opponent right? that the economy poll. is doing poorly and what yeah is and what do you poll? say to these americans who feel like they're struggling yeah well if them. they're saying they are they are and mm -hmm. i think for all of us of prices being out there i think that's why vice president harris has made it very clear that that is a top priority whether it's focusing on home ownership which we know these proposals work if you do things with down payment assistance and you create three million more homes we were able to do it on a state level in minnesota now minneapolis has 12 percent more homes and rents went down four percent last mm -hmm. year this can work on a, a national level uh -huh. and then this idea of price gouging and price fixing 37 states already have this in place play you saw when there's a hurricane in florida airline tickets shot through the roof that that's not capitalism that's that's price gouging and i think then focusing on the tax cuts going to them and it's important for us to talk about what donald trump is going to do because he did keep a promise his first term he cut down. oh my goodness speak on what you guys could possibly do all you've done is spoke about you know uh, inflationary um, uh, agendas that you have to raise the raise the price of houses what it sounds like by um, you know, giving everyone twenty thousand dollars for a first time home. It's what's only gonna jack up the price twenty thousand dollars on all homes. I mean, come on, you guys, listen to them. And they can't get by without bringing up Donald Trump. Let's talk about what Donald Trump's going to do or what he has done. Folks have already seen what he can do, and that's why they trust him more to handle the economy. I mean, come on. That's price gouging. And I think then focusing on the tax cuts going to them. And it's important for us to talk about what Donald Trump is going to do because he did keep a promise his first term. He cut taxes for the wealthiest. He drove up the debt to, un, you know, to numbers we haven't seen. And this time he's coming after things like Social Security and Medicare, calling them Ponzi scheme that won't work so i think the message has to go to talk to people i think it's connecting as i say um vice president harris and i grew up middle class we understand that she actually worked in a mcdonald's she didn't go and pan oh he did not just tell yet another lie he's lying for his running mate now not only will this guy tim walls lie for himself he'll lie for um kamala's benefit too if they'll do it right now that's already been fact checked by mcdonald's they've came out with a statement saying hey She's on no record, never worked here before, never been a fried cook of ours. Now this guy, Tim Walls, getting up here with another blatant fib. I mean, come on, you guys. Class, we understand that. She actually worked in a McDonald's. She didn't go and pander and disrespect McDonald's workers by standing there in your red tie and take a picture. His policies are the ones that undermine those very workers that were in that McDonald's, whether it's home ownership, health care, reproductive rights, or cost of product. So there's more work to be done. But um, just to be very clear, nothing Donald Trump is proposing does anything about the middle class and every economist. Moody's themselves talked about what it would do to drive up inflation, uh, potentially leading us to recession. So there's more work to be done. We acknowledge that. I think the vice president's proposals are real. They make a difference and we need to continue that. Yo, there we have it, guys. Tim Waltz, Kamala Harris's VP candidate, just cannot make it by one interview, one segment without bringing up this guy, Donald Trump's name. It just seems like when, when they're against the ropes, um, they've got nowhere else to go. They're going to bring up this guy, Donald Trump. It seems like the folks on the left think that's the only way they can get their point across and it just never seems to land it just makes people wake up to who donald trump truly is you know if you only bring up this guy's name and answering all your questions it makes people think like well what do you stand for if all you want us to know is that this guy is bad what about you can we ever talk about the kamala harris tim walls campaign or their record but it never happens guys definitely hop in the comment section let me know your thoughts also make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you'd enjoy more content like this catch you guys on the next one week